Interior architecture is a relatively new field. Space can be about so much more than aesthetics. And this is why we take the sort of conceptual part and the research part and the social sensitivity part so very seriously, because it has a great storytelling ability. So I think a big focus of our program is to make sure that students design very deliberately and meaningfully. And obviously we do respond very quickly to changes in technology, changes in trends, changes in environmental awareness, and changes in people's habits. The design studio is really the heart of the curriculum. We have a small student-teacher ratio. Faculty really get to know their students and their body of work. We're so lucky to be in the city of Chicago. We have the Merchandise Mart. A lot of our students start out in showrooms really learning about products and materials. We are very well known for being practical and having working professionals from the field in the classroom. CETA is an international body that accredits interior design and interior architecture programs. Having these standards that are revisited by a number of professionals ensures that educators and the students are always on kind of the, the cusp of technology. It speaks to employers that you have had a certain level of education and preparation um, to enter the field. Just seeing that as a line on a resume is a calling card for many employers. We have all these amazing designers working in the city who are available to come in for our critiques. A professional would be coming in, talking to a student about their project and liking that um, way of thinking so much that they would have that student working at their firm. But we also have a very strong conceptual side where we encourage very thorough research and that's why their work is not just beautiful but also meaningful. They're just so responsive to whatever new evidence you give them, and they all have a very different take on the same subject.